Today we are making sundubu, and it's a type of Korean soup. Hey everyone, welcome back. Today Reed will be making kimchi sundubu jjigae, which is a spicy Korean tofu stew. He introduced me to this dish when we went to a Korean restaurant a couple months ago and I really enjoyed it, especially since it had a lot of tofu. As always, thank you so much for watching and please enjoy! So, we're making um, tofu sundubu tonight, which in uh, English means uh, tofu stew, and it's Korean. Um, just went to Palau and we bought all these items. So these are the basic items that you need to make the soup. Uh, we need to make an anchovy broth, so we bought anchovies. Uh, for a little bit of a salty and seafood taste, dry shrimp. Uh, pork belly, that's going to be our, our meat, our protein in the soup. Kimchi, because you, can, uh, you can't have a Korean dish without putting kimchi. And then uh, your soft uh, tofu, which we're going to be using as the, the main ingredient. So uh, we'll show you how to make the soup later. Uh, but basically, uh, this is basically what you need. I'm just prepping the garnishes for the soup. Mince a half a stalk of green onions and approximately two shallots. And three to four cloves of garlic. Depending on the amount of people that you're making this soup for, you're going to want to boil two cups of water per person. And three to four anchovies per cup of water that you boil. Add in your pieces of dried seaweed and bring to a boil. So now I'm prepping what's going to go into the soup. So we're going to chop it all up into little pieces and pre-cook it into that pot over there and then add it to the broth. In a separate pan, add in sesame oil. Also, the shallots, garlic, and pork belly. My grandma would make this, but you know what? When I was growing up, I didn't um, eat kimchi, so I wouldn't eat this. It wasn't until I was like in my 20s that I appreciated kimchi. Like growing up, because of the smell, when we were little kids, like, oh, okay, I hated the idea of putting fermented kimchi in my mouth. About 16 ounces of kimchi. We used about half the bottle that's in this video. And cook the ingredients on medium heat. And some shrimp for salt. Look, look here. So once this thing boils up a little bit more and gets a little seafood taste, we're gonna add in. I'm going to add in all the things from the pot into this soup. <laughs> I'm taking out all the anchovies and the shrimp and the pongu because we've got our soup base. Now we're going to add this into the pot. This is the pork, kimchi, garlic, shallots, sesame oil that we kind of cooked down. After you add in the ingredients from the pot, add in your kimchi sauce. The more kimchi sauce you add to your soup, the spicier your soup will be. Some people like me don't really like enoki mushrooms. I'm cooking for a family that's more Japanese than I am, so they like enoki mushrooms. So we're we're doing Japanese ingredients in a Korean dish. So the dish is Japarian. And it's just like me, half Japanese, half Korean. Finally, add in your green onions. And my favorite ingredient, tofu. Make sure to add the tofu right before you serve this dish because of its soft texture it can break apart easily. 
so you, you have to drink beer with this. So in Korea, when you go in, they give you like really spicy food. You'll find everybody's drinking beer to go along with it, or or sochu, because it kills the spice when you you eat and then you take a shot or you drink beer. As always, thank you so much for watching, and thank you to Reed for making this awesome soup. This is such a great dish to eat on a very cold and wintry night with lots of family and friends. Mmm, it's spicy. It's good. But it's very good. It's a very, it's a seafood base. So <clears throat> I can taste the fish, the anchovies. My favorite is the tofu. Huh? Back in you don't have to cook. Yeah. <laughs> you get one cook already. <laughs>